So you have so much work to get done and you're feeling really motivated. But once you enter your home, you just lose all motivation and you slump on your couch like a slug for the next three hours. You know what? Same. <laughs> I just have no mood to study at home after school no matter how hard I try but since university started, I have been studying a lot after lectures at night. I will link my first day of university vlog over here. So besties, here is how to study when you're tired after classes in school, college, or university. The third time management tip is a unique one that forces you to be disciplined, so stay tuned till the end of the video to know what that is. Let's start! First, don't have a start time. In our to-do lists and schedules, we always write down the time we start studying. One thing that I've realized since starting university is that I work much more efficiently when I know the time that I have to stop studying. For example, I have a chemistry lecture at 2pm, which means that I have to study all my material by 2pm. Use the same concept for your after-school routine. Instead of setting a start time, set an end time. Tell yourself that you must stop studying at 10 p.m. or 12 a.m. It doesn't matter what time you start, your cutoff point is the time that you set. This new mindset changes everything because you can be disciplined and start studying at the time that you wrote in your schedule, but if you don't have an end time, you're just going to work slowly and drag everything until you're too tired to complete it. So you end up feeling terrible because you didn't get anything done even though you studied for 5 hours. Instead, set an end time. If you do not complete your work by that time, wake up earlier in the morning to complete it. Second, get more done in less time. Taking notes is the most time-consuming thing in the world, so I'm going to tell you guys a life hack that you'll be thanking me for until you graduate. First, you take a picture of the page or pages you want to do notes on in your textbook. Then you import that image to an app called PDF Element on your laptop, change it to PDF format, then click OCR Text Recognition. Now, you can edit the text directly on the image and it'll match the font as well. How cool is that? You can see here how I'm easily summarizing this entire chunk of text into short points without needing to painstakingly write everything into my notebook. And you guys know how expensive textbooks are. Well, just scan your textbook using PDF element on your iPad, then annotate on the pages so you don't have to buy expensive textbooks anymore. You can highlight, write sticky notes, draw on everything including your teacher's slides and your notes. You can download PDF Element for free using the link in my description box and if you're a student, you can purchase the pro version at a huge discount right now. Next, how to be forced into being disciplined. Let's just say you want to have a study day because exam is near. Go outside, go to a public library or your school library. Whatever the length of time you want to study for, cut that time down by 20%. If you want to study for 6 hours, shorten that to 4 hours and 45 minutes, and so on. When you're truly tired, there's no way you can study for 6 hours straight, especially after school. You'll spend a lot of time daydreaming or listening to a lecture and not understand any of it. So cut that time down. You can still get everything done, but it eliminates the amount of time you can spend daydreaming. By the way, if you want to know how to focus when studying and stop daydreaming, then check out my video here. And I emphasized to go outside to a library because it's a little bit hard to do this time management technique at home where it's really easy to drag on your study session. So if your study session is 4 hours long, go to the library at 2pm, which is 4 hours before they force you to leave. Next, how to cut down on your to-do list. 
I'm a little bit behind on lectures right now because I'm a perfectionist and I do way too much for everything. So I wrote down everything that I have to do for the week. I highlight the tasks that I absolutely have to get done. Then I move the rest to a list that I appropriately named if I have time. Do you really need to pre-read the material that you're going to learn in class tomorrow? No. Do you really need to finish your physics homework when you have a maths exam coming up? No. Do you need to do all the readings for your university classes? Absolutely not. All these are great habits to practice, but they aren't a priority. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices and be honest with yourself. Do I have the time? Is that worth my mental health? If I don't do it, so what? I faced this dilemma two weeks ago. Catch up with my lectures or upload a YouTube video. Considering that I had an exam in a few days, I had to make a sacrifice and skip an upload. Am I happy about that decision? No, but was it worth it? Yes, I got full marks for that test. The day after this video is published, I will be posting a mini vlog of my exam day over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. Next, an advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you. Do not take a nap. So many of us feel like we're wasting time when we're taking a break or a nap. Well, I'm here to tell you this. Don't take a nap. Go and sleep. It's much better for you to go and sleep for 2 hours from 4pm to 6pm and feel super refreshed then study extremely productively from 7pm to 12am. Instead of focusing on the fact that you're only starting to study really late at night at 7pm, remind yourself that that is followed by 5 hours of effective study time. This is much better than hanging around, scrolling on TikTok for 30 minutes, then napping for 20 minutes, eating some snacks, and watching YouTube videos for another hour. You're not really resting, you're just wasting time. So get off this video after it ends and go and sleep. Next, don't sit still. If you're tired, study standing up. Don't underestimate the effectiveness of this because I did for a really long time. Of course you'll be sleepy if you're slumped over a chair. But once you stand, within seconds you're going to feel much more alert. Your posture is better and your back will be a little less sore. So why is standing so effective? It's because it's harder to do. Little things like needing to balance your body weight, stretching your legs, and shifting from foot to foot will help keep you alert as your brain has more things to manage. You can also set a timer for 30 minutes. When it goes off, walk around for a bit and do some stretches. Trust me, you'll feel so much better. I'm literally writing this script while standing up because it's 12am and after a long day, I need to do anything that can help me get through one more task. And if you're watching this video by the 27th of March, it means that this tip worked because I got my script done. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you have high or low energy after school. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for 413,000 subscribers. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!